uh, initiative that we provide in Mandaya is about how we can actually provide our patient and their family members the best experience uh, that they can have uh, at our hospital, even during their most difficult times. And when, when we talk about experience, we are not just talking about uh, the best medical services, how they get uh, the treatment, the diagnostics, but we also talk about how uh, we can actually provide the whole patient-centered care so that they are actually in the middle, in the center of everything that we do. Uh, we take care of them from not just the medical side, but also from the emotional side, the emotional need, the, the psychological need, sometimes financial as well, and religious needs as well. So we, we, we think of a patient as uh, a real human being. We, we don't think about them as uh, something that is broken that needs to be fixed. So that when the patient actually come to us, sometimes some of our patients might actually you know, because they have cancer, something that is very difficult that they're experiencing, that they might actually pass away at, at the end. But what we are actually providing and what we actually feel proud of ourselves is that most of these patients will say, our family members will actually say that we are still quite sad that one of our family members passed away, but we are very happy that you have given the best experience, the best time uh, at the end of our family members' lives. So I think that's one of the vision, the big vision that we, we have. So um, there are multiple factors uh, which we deem very important in the success of Mandaya. Uh, of course, number one, we are talking about the doctors. So we, re we are really proud of all of our doctors, hundred and more than 160 specialists that we have. Uh, from 60 different specialties uh, and you know a lot of them are actually trained overseas as well uh, but uh, we really support our doctors with the best medical equipment there is so uh, from the diagnostic side uh, radiology for example lab equipments we uh, purchase uh, one of the most advanced and the leading technology in Indonesia at the moment and from the treatment side as well uh, especially for our, our center of excellence, we, we have three of them. One is in oncology, the second one is in cardiology, and the last one is in neurology. And when we talk about oncology, uh, we really invest in a lot of uh, the latest technologies. Uh, for example, we are going to have the latest uh, linear accelerator, which is radiotherapy equipment, one of the most uh, advanced uh, radiotherapy equipment in Indonesia. That's going to be launched quite soon. And by the end of the year, hopefully, we are going to have uh, one of the, uh, the only digital PET CT in Indonesia. And when we talk about PET CT, which is very, very important for the diagnostic of cancer, in Indonesia, there are only about four or five of those equipments in the whole country. And we not only have a PET CT, but we actually have one of the latest, uh, the most advanced digital PET uh, in the country. So, Again, equipment is very important because we want to help our doctors to uh, be able to give or, or come up with the best diagnosis for the patient or else you know, the treatment will be useless, right? Uh, and then uh, number three, uh, we are talking about all the other human resources as well, the supporting team from the nurses. Uh, the, the, we have a team called the patient experience team as well. And they are very, very important for us because they really look after the patient from the non-medical side. So whatever they need uh, non-medically uh, from uh, support uh, with questions, uh, support with uh, religious needs, their family needs as well. Uh, this is sort of like a butler service which will give them whatever they, they require during their stay and to make sure that they are happy with us. Uh, and I think uh, these three combination, you know, good doctors, very experienced doctors, the best medical equipments, and the best supporting team uh, to help the patients uh, with the other non-medical requirements will actually help our patients to uh, recuperate and to actually recover as fast as possible in the best possible way as well. Yeah, I, th I think challenges, uh, to be honest, there are still so many challenges that we have, you know, and uh, there are still a lot of diseases that are still not, treatment is still not good enough. You know, a lot of cancers, 
some diseases like Alzheimer's disease, for example, uh, there is still no definitive cure for it. And, and at Bandaya, we are very, we are very committed, uh, not just from the medical treatment or diagnostic side, but we want to go into the research side as well. So uh, we have plans in the near future to actually go into the genetics uh, research and testing, and we want to collaborate as well with multiple institutions in terms of uh, stem cell research as well. And hopefully with this, we can be the one of the pioneer hospital uh, healthcare provider which can actually provide this le very uh, leading technology uh, in Indonesia and maybe the whole world uh, to give, you know, very uh, new novel treatment for difficult conditions like Alzheimer's, like cancers.